This moment will be our last After this I'm an outcast No more rendezvous or sneaking down the creek It's almost midnight baby and you know where I'll be Let's just move real slow more than we both know We'll go dancing in the dark Take my hand as we get our way How about we freeze time? Hello everyone, welcome back to The Color Bar TV and It's February, it's the month of love So happy Valentine's Day to everyone I hope you had a great time spending it with your loved ones. Alam niyo guys, ang love naman, there's so many forms of that. Hindi lang siya romantic love. For example, the love for music. And my guest today, she has a deep love for music. She writes her own songs and she's a recording artist of Star Music. And she is also no stranger to The Color Bar. In fact, she is a friend of The Color Bar. And my guest today is Sab. All right, Sab. So you're 18. I am. You are very young still, but yes. <laughs> as young as you are, you're already writing and you're a singer and a songwriter. Yeah. So how young, ba, were you when you discovered that you like music? I feel like I always just like music. It was something in my family that was just always there. Like, you know, my mom plays piano, then my oh, dad okay. did guitar. My kuya also did guitar, but then he stopped, so it went to me. Uh, and then, from what I was told, I always made random songs in the house now. Or I would just randomly start singing. So it kind of runs in the family. Yeah, I'd like to say it does. So that's where you got your... Your love for music. Yeah. It's, a, it's, all, it's always been in the family. Mm -hmm. When you are not writing music, what is Sab doing? Sab is in college. Sab is in college, okay. Sab is going through online school like every other How student. is that for you? I mean, have you ever thought that you'd be mm. doing online schooling? No. Um, I always imagine college like in the movies. Like, you know, uh -huh. you walk in the school and, and you're like, wow, look at those dorms and those big classrooms. And then those really amazing props and stuff. And then, you know, pandemic. So uh, I had to adjust like everyone else. And it's definitely different. You don't think that your classes are going to be on like Canvas, which is what my school uses. And this is your first year in college, right? Yes, it is my first year. So it's, and a, it was, it, it's a freshman <laughs> welcome. <laughs> it's a freshman welcome. It all started with this pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, well, something that you'll not forget Definitely. for the rest of your life. Truly, I can tell this story to my grandkids. <laughs> oh, I like Back that. Back in my day. <laughs> I like that. Talking about stories, mm -hmm. where do you get your inspiration when you write your music? Mm, good question. I get my inspiration from anywhere, to be honest. Either from my own experiences or like my friends' experiences with their consent, of course, because okay. that's important. Or from movies, other songs, TV shows. I just like to get inspiration from anywhere. Since we're talking about inspirations and about music, uh, your first, you came out with this first single, mm -hmm. which is She. Yes. Can you tell us more about this, this song? Uh, she. It started as an English project in my class. And then being me, I was like, I gotta do really good because okay. I really want a good grade. Okay. <laughs> then I got kind of carried away. And I ended up really loving it. So with that, I left the poem as it is. Did really well. <laughs> and then I probably saw it about a year later once I learned ukulele and I was just like, ooh, what if we put these two together? You know, put in the message and then add some very basic chords of C and F and A minor <laughs> and so you, then it became okay. she. So you wrote the song as well as the music, is mm -hmm. that correct? Yes, Amazing. music Amazing! With your music she, every time I listen to it, there's this feel-good, soulful vibe you. you get out of your music. That's the goal. So what's your genre? Mm. 
I describe my genre as indie pop. I mean, with she, that's how I was told it was because it's ukulele, very mellow. It gives so much the calming vibes. Growing up, I listened to a lot of acoustic because, like, my dad he would play all of those like '90s Billboard acoustic songs in the uh -huh. car. So I think because of that, I really was drawn to it. And other than that, I think it's just a natural thing for me. I've been more drawn to songs that have like very emotional storytelling type of vibes, which really fits the indie pop genre for me. So beautiful. Thank you. Just like she. <laughs> Just like she. Thank you. Tell her she's right. Or tell her she's wrong. Or tell her she just needs somebody to keep her holding on. Okay. So Sab, this is not your first hair color, right? No, it's so not. You, th this is pretty much your second one. Yeah, I, I think it is my second. And then both of my hair colors were done by you. By me? Yeah. So how was your experience with the first hair color? Oh my god, I remember in the first hair color, it wasn't even here because this, I don't think this location existed yet. No. It was like in the Honda, in like... The studio. Yeah, the, the, stu the studio. Stu when the color bar was still a studio. So how is this color now different from the last one? From what I remember, this color is like much lighter. And then like earlier when we did the bleach, my the front was like blondish yellow and I was like, okay, that's cool. <laughs> and this is more like, I guess this is more like cute now. I like, guess so, yeah. You know, transitioning from that little girl. <laughs> now it's not so little. Yeah. And talking about that, not so little anymore. About the experience you had in ABS-CBN. Oh, yeah. Uh, that pre-Christmas uh, show mm -hmm. you had. Can yeah. you take us... Uh, uh, that moment that you had uh, performing your song. Yeah, it was uh, last December, so quite recent. And I have no idea how I was able to perform. I was just like informed the week of, so it was very last minute. And I was just like, really? I'm gonna perform? Okay, cool. And then it was like my two songs, She and Dancing in the Dark. And I remember walking into the studio because you know we have to follow protocol so no live audiences it's just like camera crew other performers and it was very nerve-wracking and also really really exciting because you literally walk into the room and you just see famous people <laughs> y'all heard that stutter <laughs> like I, I, I yeah so i saw like janine Berdin and then jamiko and yeah. then i saw ella and then i saw kyle achari and then i was just like god <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it was very awesome because I also got to like perform my own songs and they were watching. So at that moment, I was just like, okay, I'm gonna do my best. And then I, you know, got lost in the music. And then it was also very confusing because you stare at the camera that's like blinking. And then I got very confused at some point. And then I remember in Dancing in the Dark, there was a part in the bridge I was about to peel. <laughs> so like, I just drew the mark, no, the mic as far as possible. Uh -huh. It saved it. And then I was able to calm down more in She. So I think She was like my better performance there. And it was cool because like people were talking about it on Twitter also, like people who were from Kaisef fans. So that was very awesome. <laughs> oh, that's good. And uh, this, this was your first ever coming out. Like live performance. Live performance yeah. in front of the camera with lots mm -hmm. of lights and being surrounded with stars. Yeah. Living pretty, the dream. It's <laughs> pretty awesome experience. Talking about experience, uh, mm -hmm. your song, She, yeah. it got featured um, on the show Hello, Hello Stranger. So how did you feel about that? It was really awesome. Uh, I didn't expect it because literally my song she was out one month before. And you know, I'm a new artist. That was like my debut single. So no one knew me. I didn't expect 
it to be part of such a cool series already, especially a show that's just like revolving around a, a different type of love, you know, LGBT, which is, mm -hmm. I'm really happy it was able to be included in the show and like be focused on. So the fact that my song was included, I was like, whoa. And just like the other day, Hello Stranger, the movie came out and my song is still there. Yay! <laughs> it's like for the ship Kaisef and it's really, really cool because like I have met, I have like chatted with, like not super deep chat, but you know, when you just IGDM like Vivery and Patrick who are playing as Kuka and Sef in the actual <laughs> uh, show and movie. So it was very, whoa, life is real. <laughs> it's always surreal. Yeah. I feel like you're just watching me panic right now. This is like my <laughs> truest form. Just flat out panic. But you're doing well. Oh, even thank with you. your interviews and even your with your live performance. Thank you. You're so pro. <laughs> you are so pro. I'm working on it. I guess you're born ready. Uh, well, we're working there, but hopefully that's what the vibe I'm giving off is. That's good, that's good. Um nobody uh, like no one knew who Sav was before. Yeah before the, the music came out. So how do you feel that people are now hearing your music on Spotify? And how does that feel for you? Like you're 18 years old. <laughs> how are you taking all this? The feeling is just super surreal. Like every day I'm just like, this is a dream come true. Cause like my main goal was always to just like release my own music. Cause that's really just been a passion of mine. And the fact that I get to share it with however many people listen to it is just like phenomenal. So like the fact that people care and are actually like keeping tabs on, oh, you have a song coming? Cool. It's like, it basically means the world to me. <laughs> That's so nice to hear. Coming from, you know, uh, a young, young. And, you know, I mean, not, it doesn't really matter if you're young or old. Mm. But you're just telling your story yeah. with your music. Yeah. And that's really wonderful because it's you know authentic. It's heartfelt. And oh. you know, when listening to your music, you can really feel that. Mm. Um, how would you describe yourself, how Sav, you describe as okay. an artist? Mm, Sav is honest. That's the main thing I try to push in all of my songs. So whenever I make songs, I try to represent that they are as truthful as possible because I think that's where the best music comes from when you're able to be vulnerable and uh, say what the actual story and say how you actually feel. I like that. Just being honest, yeah. just being true. And it really, uh, it translates to mm. your music. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and you have your single, second single came out, right? Mm -hmm. Last December. And when are we expecting that third single? Well, very soon. Is it coming uh, out? Actually, it's in the month of February. Oh, like, February in the love 2020. month. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's nice. So we're expecting another single from Sab. Yes. Very sure. soon. Very, very soon. Could be this week, could be next week. Could have already like released, released? by the time know, this right? video came out. We'll never know. You'll never know. It is about love though. It's uh, the, the song that I just recorded and will be releasing is uh, it was an anniversary gift for my parents. Yeah, yeah. It so was it's a, another yeah. story. Yeah. There's another story. This that, is like probably um, my most vulnerable song. Out oh. Of the three. So we're, can't wait to hear that. Thank you. <laughs> so Sab, la one last question. Mm. What are we going to expect from you, like, from Sab? Like the music, the artistry. Okay, what you'll expect from me. Well, like what I said, the most honest storylines in songs you can imagine. And hopefully I'll be releasing more music, so who knows, could be an EP and it'll focus more on different aspects of life. And I just want to be a storyteller, a singer, songwriter, storyteller, and show as much of the world as possible in my songs. Thank you very much, Sav. Thank uh, you. That was really a wonderful um message you gave us about your your who who is sab like what is sab thank really you. it's about honesty mm -hmm. and it really shows in your music so sab thank you very much for being part of the color bar tv like i said me. earlier you're, you know sab is no stranger to the color bar you're yeah. you are I'm always one here. Of, you're always here you're <laughs> one of the color like bar of friends of the color bar and um please do promote your youtube channel 
your Instagram, yes. so the camera is all yours. So, hello camera, hello however many people are watching this. Uh, my name is Sab and you can check me out on my social media platforms. That is at official Sab Music, so that's Facebook, Instagram, TikTok now. And uh, my YouTube channel is Sab in big letters. And if you want, you can check out my songs on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music, iTunes, and Deezer. And it really means a lot. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, let me tell you a story about a young girl. She, she was quite different, extraordinary. God knows she was thinking when she couldn't see that through amidst all her scars. Was beauty breaking through And tell her she's right Or tell her she's wrong Or tell her she just needs somebody to keep her holding on Yeah, on Tell her she's right Or tell her she's wrong or tell her she just needs somebody to keep her holding on I hope you enjoy Sab's music. This is just the first of many featured artists for the Friends of the Color Bar. So if you have any records artists that you would want us to feature in the Color Bar TV, please do comment down below. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And hit the notification bell so you will be informed whenever we release a new video. Do follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Our account is at the color bar PH. Guys, I will see you again on the next video. Bye for now. When nothing seems to go as planned Will you please understand When I change Because the way that I feel for you